every athlete, every basketball player dreams of, of going to the NCAA tournament at some point in their career. And I mean, when you're, you're a little kid, like messing around in your driveway, shooting like buzzer beater shots, counting down the shots in your head, you're, you're imagining being in, in situations like that in the tournament. Um, and for us to do it four years in a row, it's just it's just like a dream come true. When we were recruited here, like they they sold us on a dream, and like wh whether or not you you believed it, it's like it, it's great to just come see it in fruition. It's uh, it's like something that's been a long long hard working mission, and it, it's ta taken a lot taken a lot of uh, a lot of progression over the years. It's an honor. Uh, it's definitely an honor to be a part of this senior class. But uh, I would also say that it's almost unfair to talk about this kind of accomplishment without mentioning the, the previous classes. Uh, I, I'm really thankful uh, for those guys to you know, show us the way and uh, tell us how you know, Harvard basketball is played. I think, yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, inspiring to be around that, that uh, variety group of people. Um, that's very good at very different kind of things, and you know, from, uh, from academia to you know, to sports to art, you know, it's it's very very you know challenging every day. I think you you, you kind of need that kind of people to challenge you every single day and uh, get the best out of you. At first, it was like a shock. Um, freshman year, you come in and you don't really know anybody, and everybody's just a uh, so talented and they're the best at this, they're the best at that. But um, once you're around them, you realize that they're just like you. Um, they all, they love to, to be around you and hear your stories. And you love to be around them and hear their stories and where they come from. And um, it helps you grow as a person and, and broaden your horizons. And you, you learn things about them and about yourself that you never would have discovered otherwise. As a freshman, you could kind of notice that like people were, were taking note, but they weren't completely bought in. But now, now it's like I can't go anywhere now without uh, being stopped and people talking about the game, talking about how crazy the Yale game was or how crazy it was seeing us on TV against North Carolina. And the kind of whole community around Boston is really taking note and uh, really I, I need what we've been able to able to do it. We're, we're very happy for that. It's just like a close-knit group uh, of people that um, they just love to see us, to see us play well and, and, and represent Harvard. And um, we go out there and do it for them, honestly. We, uh, we want to make them happy and make them proud. And so every time we, we tie up our shoes and put on that, that Harvard jersey, it's, it's for the, the Harvard community and all those people that, that come out to see us play. It's an amazing what you can accomplish when nobody cares who gets the credit. Um, it's just something that, that Coach Amaker has always instilled in us. And um, I think just these four years, you can definitely see how that, that statement is just so, so true. Hard work really pays off. Uh, I think um, as Coach Amaker, you know, hop on every single day, uh, you, you got to prepare to be, able to be able to get this kind of results, and um, I think this program is the it's a perfect example that um, hard work pays off. Don't underestimate who's watching you, and there's where whether you think something you do is like ins insignificant, or if you think like the hard work that you put in isn't going to go unrecognized, it will in more ways than you really even understand.